I had this wood plaque that I got from Target. It was $3 and it's in the shape of a house. I'm going to start by using my General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain. I like to apply that with a Gen Foam Brush. This just goes on nicely and it's just going to stain the wood a little darker. If you like the light color wood, then you can skip this step. And I'm going to just cover the entire frame with the gel stain, both on top and on the sides. I wipe it in with a piece of paper towel that just removes the excess gel stain. Next, I'm going to take some gel stain and the back of this is almost like a shiplap, has little grooves, and I'm going to apply the gel stain inside the line. And because this kind of had a sheen to it, I was able to easily wipe off the gel stain because it had a slick surface. If this was regular wood, it would not do this. It would just absorb it. So just keep that in mind. I then have this little circle. I get these cutouts from Hobby Lobby. It's about a two inch diameter circle and I'm going to gel stain that as well. Now if you don't have the gel stain, you can always use some brown paint. You can even water down the paint to make it appear as a stain. And I'm going to glue that down on my board. I just use some hot glue to adhere it. Now I have some of this metal ribbon. You can get this right at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to just use it to trim the roof of the house. I love this metal ribbon. It comes in two different sizes that I have seen. And I'm going to adhere it with some hot glue. The E6000 does hold a little better, but for an indoor wall hanging, this should be okay. I'm just adding the hot glue to the roof of the house on the trim and then setting the metal ribbon on top. And it just gives it a little more character. I have this nest. Now some are thin enough you can cut the back side to be flat. This one was a little thicker, so I'm just going to glue it down onto my board using some hot glue. And I just kind of smushed the back end so that it would lay nicely. I'm going to fill the nest with a few different eggs. You can find these foam eggs pretty much at any craft store, especially this time of year. I have this artificial floral pick and I'm just going to put that on the left side here. This just kind of gives it a little color. And I'm adhering that down with hot glue as well. And to finish it off, I have some wood letters. I'm going to spell out Hello Spring. You could spell out anything that you want or you can just leave as is. I'm going to paint those wood cutout letters with some Wise Owl Robin's Egg. This is a really pretty blue and it's a great color for the spring and Easter. I gave that about two coats. Once they were fully dry, I'm then going to adhere them to the top of the board here. I'm using the slats in the wood to keep my word straight and I'm going to use some hot glue. You can also use some Elmer's wood glue to adhere these letters. And there you go. Now we just have this fun Hello Spring birdhouse wall decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.